Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season two, episode two of Korra, The Southern Light. Make sure to like and subscribe on the video down below. If you've enjoyed watching our Korra journey and want to see us continue going through the seasons. If you want early access to content or to ask us questions at the end of episodes, subscribe to the Patreon down below. All right, I think that's about it. I'm super excited for this episode. How are you feeling? I think it's going to be great. I'm excited. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! Chapter 2, Southern Lights. It's it, back. It's the same spirit. What is it? Because it looks like a little gremlin thing. Yeah, it looks like a squiddy. Also, bird. those camels are so cute. What what, what kind of animal Wait. mix is that? Okay, so we know it's camel because of the humps, but right. feet, are they the same? Look like a camel. Okay, that looks like a llama camel. Babe. What? All camels look like llama camels because llamas and camels look kind of the same. Not the fit. You yes, the yeah, face. Yeah, like, that's what a camel right face there. looks like. Maybe it's a polar bear llama. They're very cute. Yes. We love all the animals yeah. in Africa. Right? What can I say? I'm pumped up to learn that Unalak spirit fighting. I'm not here to teach you to fight spirits. I'm here to help you begin your spiritual training. Okay. We're going to one of the most remote places in the world, the long neglected spiritual center of your tribe, oh, wow. South Pole. You're gonna wow. Oh. We will do more than just train. You're taking camels to the South spirits, Pole? The people of the South have brought darkness upon themselves, and now it threatens to destroy our tribe. We must set things right. The Southern Water Tribe... I thought he had, like, really amazing winged eyeliner for a sec. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, what's going on in the South Pole? And he just keeps saying the Southern Water Tribe has to be stopped. Is yeah. Isn't it magnificent? That's so gorgeous. Yo. Oh! Wow, and the lemurs! And other... Are, those aren't airbenders, are they? Master Tenzin, welcome. Think they're monks? Yeah. Good to see you again, Abbot Shung. Abbot Shung. Is there anything you need? Water? Dandelion greens? Ah, perhaps you'd like to recenter yourself by meditating in the gardens. No, thank you. I'm fine. Okay. You must be the Honorable Pema. Please accept these gifts. This is an ancient airbender head shaver we've refurbished just for you. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. And Pema. He got oh okay okay. I mean, he does have to shave his head a lot, but that looks that dangerous. looks scary. Yeah. Now don't you move. My hands aren't as steady as they used to be. I wouldn't want to put that on my head. So they're all catering to Tenzin because mm -hmm. I'm sure he assigned people in charge of making sure that these temples were put back in order. Yeah. Okay. Flowers once filled the mountainside. Wow. Now they can brighten up your room. That's they're beautiful. Sweet. There's a lot of them. You didn't have yeah. to. Nonsense. Whatever you need is yours. Anything for the mother of the next generation of airbenders. No! That gift is mine! You don't even like to read. Nah. What up? I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never fucking learned how to read. <laughs> yeah, those are the Yikes. next generation of airbenders. Oh, you got it. I finally got it. Oh. I'm gonna name him Pokey. <laughs> Pokey, come on. We love Pokey. Look at me, Logo. Excuse me, a little help here? Oh, Sorry, rude. Sorry, I thought you were the servants. We're Tenzin's brother and sister. Avatar Aang had other children? Oh. The world is filled with more airbenders? We're not airbenders. Oh, yikes. No. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. So, you know, that's interesting. Maybe Kaya can bend, but I, I don't think Boomy can. I'm not sure. We, oh, we really okay. don't know for either one of them. I don't think they can as of yet. Kaya strikes me as maybe a waterbender. I, I think it's just interesting that Aang was the last airbender. When he had kids, they obviously wanted him to have airbending kids. He yeah. only had one airbending kid, which was Tenzin. So the rest of them are probably like, they always had to live in the shadow of the They were next supposed airbender. to be, yeah, yeah. Or they see the life that they could have had if they had been born an airbender. Yeah, so I feel like That's that really might be sad. something they resent Tenzin for. Yeah. Even though it's not really his fault. I thought you said Bolin was coming. He said he'd be here, but I can't worry about it. I have to make sure you have everything you need for a safe trip. Thanks, Captain Expedition. <laughs> but I'll be fine. Mechanized little snowmobile. That's cool. 
Tonrock, what do you want? I heard you're taking Korra to the South Pole. I'm coming. Absolutely not. You're a distraction to Korra and a hindrance to what needs to be done. My daughter is not going without me. She needs someone to watch after her. Dad, why do you always think you know what's best for me? Because he's misguided. The Ow. sad truth is, it's men like your father who have put the spirit world out of balance. He's ignored my warnings in the past and hasn't learned since. Wow. What happened in the past? Okay, so Doesn't he was matter. responsible for something. What, what did he do? Okay, what do we... And what is... Did you just say Everstone? What matters is the Everstorm. The Everstorm? It's Ever a Everstorm. It's battered the South Pole for decades. Oh, wow. I'm it's a storm that never ends. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. He might have done something in the past to upset the spirits. No, he did do something in the past that upset the spirits. Oh, boy. And his brother knew about it and warned him, and he didn't take his word he for it. He didn't take heeded. Take, take, take headed, headed. Head. 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 Heeded. Heeded. Heed. Take heeded didn't of. Didn't take heeded of my, his warnings. <laughs> so ridiculous. Unless you think you can stop me. Oh, challenge. Big fight? No, he's not gonna fight him. Big fight? Big stupid. Big Asami? stupid. Nope, big stupid. Check it out. I'm traveling in style. Oh, I was thinking about the sidecar. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to that throttle. Uh, <laughs> where'd you get the ride? Barrett, he's awesome. He also gave me okay. this fancy snowsuit. It's inflatable with an internal heater, emergency beacon, and food ration pouch. All right. Very I cool. Awesome. I can survive in this thing. Like a month. It's pretty What's fashionable. Nobody? Did I interrupt a conversation? Yes, buddy. No, the conversation is over. Dad, come if you want. Just don't interfere with my training. Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? Sure does. But, uh, who's gonna drive? <laughs> oh, no. Cups that are rosé. Bitch. I love how they're just identical, except the eyeliner. Whoa, what do you know? Looks like- Go away, Mako. So, once we get to the South Pole, <laughs> then what happens? You will open an ancient spirit portal. Oh I'm my sorry, goodness, what? what? At the South Pole, there is a portal- Didn't want to run that by her first. Yeah, like, they casually just like, yeah, you're just gonna open up a spirit yeah. portal. That's such a- That feels- First like, day of training- Like, you should ask what? first. But it has long been closed. And that's why the evil spirits are attacking? There are no evil spirits. Hmm. There is light and dark in them all. Interesting. When they're unbalanced, the darkness takes over. Okay. If you can open the portal in it's time, like the Hayvai, yeah. I feel like when I say that, restored. all the time. What do you mean, in time? There's a reason the Glacier Spirits Festival ends on the winter solstice. And that's when the spirit world and the physical world are close together. Only Very then, cool. The Avatar open the portal. Not the summer solstice, oh, though. Okay. Oh, so she has to do it tomorrow? Another year. Core is gonna open up the portal between the spirit world and the real world. Yeah. That seems tomorrow. Very dangerous. That seems really scary. Yeah. Yeah. With very little preparation, and she hasn't really been taught anything yet. Like she doesn't know anything about the spirit no. world, supposedly. Why is what what is Unalak trying to do here? This is just a bad idea. Learn by doing. Yeah. Okay. Not in my house. So Naga can dis detect spirits well. Oh? What are those? Uh, they're so creepy. Like, I get that they're not, dark like, dark spirits. or, like, good or bad, but, like, that Let's freaks me going. out. We have to find oh, a boy. safe place to set up camp. This is looking scary. Really scary. Uncle, why do you think the dark spirits are following us? Can we not talk about dark spirits, please? My brother doesn't like <laughs> Bull Bullen is absolutely sure. I will protect you, my feeble turtle duck. What is <laughs> happening? Sadly, this isn't a ghost story. Turtle duck. This is real. <gasps> the spirits are angry because he's here. Haven't you ever wondered how your father ended up in the South Pole? Oh no. Why he's never taken you to visit his homeland in the oh, they're both So this Northern. is what they meant this when it was his fault. You're right. You should have told her a long time ago. Told me what? Left the North Pole because. I was banished. He was banished wow. from the North Pole? Why do we- well, And we no one informed Korra of yeah. this. Why? Because I almost destroyed the entire tribe. Oh, oh wow. my god. 20 years ago, I was a general in the Northern Water, sworn to protect my people. How do you accidentally destroy yeah. a pole? What? What is that? Brother, what is that? It's grown. Look how huge it is. Wow. Oh no. 
Probably kept hunting them or something. Hmm. What are those animals that they're riding? I don't know. That's what I was saying. Like a reindeer huh. something. Deep into an ancient forest. Many believe this forest was the home to spirits, and the barbarians retreated there because they thought we wouldn't attack on such hallowed grounds. They thought wrong. Oh. Oh boy. Wait, is the fact that they attacked on such yeah. a sacred place the reason the spirits are so upset? Makes sense. Right? They broke That's like so trees. disrespectful. Yeah, the <gasps> no. That was a bad That's move. terrible. That was a you bad can't move. do that. I done that when I was younger, and that was a bad move. I didn't realize the consequences of what I had done. They're gonna come for you. All the spirits. Destroying the forest, I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. Oh boy. Wow. Oh no. And they're gonna oh. go after everyone. They're so creepy. Yeah. They threatened to destroy everything. The entire city. Unless he left. Oh. The spirit bend. What is that? Wow, he can do all of them at once? Like, is he... What is going on That's with like, that? That's like, how is that a... Why, why has that never been used? Right? That's crazy. And what specifically is going on? Is he, like, pacifying them? Like, saying, like, no, go home? guided him. Yeah. For being the cause of so much devastation, my father banished me from the Northern Water Tribe in shame. Oh, no. That's so sad. That's when I came to the South and started a new life. crazy spirit bending ability i'm still kind yeah. of perplexed on it i don't know i hope we learn how he learned to do that what any exactly background is, is it literally bending? anything what at all what, what specifically what is, is going on it's also a really sad story yeah so he has a history he didn't even mean to really yeah it's not like he, i think banishment is harsh because like it's not like he went in there knowing he was going to disturb the spirits he just wasn't knowledgeable about them yeah i don't know but i guess you as a leader kind of have to take responsibility for that yeah but you'd think he'd be way more wary about hurting the spirits from then on so you were supposed to be chief, then he became chief. No wonder you guys don't like each other. Oh, cool. Oh, God. Isn't that what happened? Oh, could you not be yourself for five minutes? Ah! I can't believe you kept this from me. I was protecting okay, exactly. Fair. No, she's the avatar. I you have to tell me and her things. Me is for my own protection. I'm yep. tired of you protecting me. That's fair. Yeah. Cora. She's the avatar. She should know everything. And like, she's an adult. Yeah. Like, it's not. They can't even use the like. Oh, she's a child. Like, she's no. literally up fully. <laughs> yeah. She's grown. Yes. The statue room. That's right, Chinora. Or oh, do they make an Aang statue? The entire Southern Air Temple. Here you will find statues of every avatar who ever lived. Wow. Where are your brother and sister? Oh no. Oh, in the really, the really special place. Oh no. Don't tell me he's gonna hit one. Oh. Don't. Oh. Oh. God. Nora? Why did the music get? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think For a second, I thought it was going to get oh, ominous, look. and I was like, wow. Oh, look, it's A. Wow. What a beautiful man. Kind of looked like he had a nose ring. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. What just happened? What was... That was something, right? The spirit maybe whisper to her or something. Interesting. Uh, that okay. was interesting. What? Yeah, because that wasn't just, that wasn't nothing. No, that was like that, that statue she looked at talking yeah. to her or something. Cora, mm -hmm. you have every right to be mad at me. Yeah. But I don't want you to make the same mistake I made. I should have never gone into that forest. And we shouldn't be going to the South Pole now. Okay, so we're changing. The physical world should he... remain separate. I feel like that's significant. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's going to be sort of the motto of what's happening right now. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Dad, it's my job to be the bridge between the spirits and the physical world. And I finally have a chance to live up to my potential. You don't even know if what Unalak says is true. You want proof? Look to the sky. Where I'm from, the spirits are at peace and they light up the dark. The Northern Lights. 
Yes. Oh. There used to be lights in the south as well. But Interesting. The war, the south was thrown out of balance. The lights disappeared. When the war ended, the north helped to rebuild you physically. As a nation, we have not rebuilt you spiritually. Oh. Now the spirits no longer dance in your skies. Instead, they rampage in the Everstorm. I think oh, we're boy. here. And they're going to go wow. into that? Oh my goodness. Wow. That looks it's huge. terrifying. And they're going wow. into it? It's the same color as Korra's eyes. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? We must. Just towards the demons. Yeah, just, uh, you know, just walk oh, right into them. I really don't like this. Bolin, Dude. Just stay calm. There's no reason. Ah. Oh. Oh. No. oh. Why are there so many of Little them? Gremlins. Oh no. How do you fight these yeah. things, right? You just get them angrier. Is that like a little dinosaur? Oh. What is it? What? It's like a tadpole with legs. These things are What do they do? Oh That's no! That's not what you want. What? No, no. That oh, is, is Bolin so gonna get lost? Also, can Bolin earthbend or is there too many layers of snow? Interesting. Oh, she's doing the ah, spirit bending. It looks fascinating. Like. Is it a form of water bending? Oh, she tried. She almost did. Oh. Here's a number. Mm. Psych! That's the wrong number! But... Oh. Someone else... Okay, so it's a form of waterbending. Okay. It makes sense because he's a waterbender, but... Is everyone okay? Not Bolin. Yeah. I love how the, the, the twins. twins are just like... I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Thank Inflatable. goodness for that suit. He said, I'm a raft! Whoa, that's cool. Look at them. That is very So cool. they're both waterbenders. Wow. Uh, can someone please deflate me? Oh, that, they could have missed. That, yeah. Oh, great. There goes our equipment. Now what are we supposed to do? There's only one thing to Yeah, you're going to head into an Everstorm with no... Yeah, yeah exactly. is tonight. We're so close. No, this you wait a year. Oh, this no, doesn't Dad. look good. You're leaving. Come on. What? Cora. Girl. So, is she thinking maybe the spirits are mad because her dad's there? And maybe. they still remember that he destroyed oh, the forest of destiny? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I don't know if it's called the forest of destiny. It just feels right. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see that. Or things have just been going bad. And as they get closer to the Everstorm, they're going to gradually keep encountering more and more of Are them. they in the Everstorm right now? I think they're gradually getting it's like a hurricane mm. and there's like the center of it like they're moving closer and closer okay. to the center so you think it's just getting worse just because it's not because yeah it's him yeah that's my theory and i think as we get closer more and more are gonna come to i don't think he's going to let her don't let him leave oh oh for you. Thank you. Wow. wow for real Let's odds he just stays like a turn around the corner the entire southern water tribe in the right direction we don't have much time and what are we waiting for? Headstrong Cora. Little attitude. Oh no. That's not what That's so see. sad. So what exactly were you and my dad talking about? Oh Nothing. boy. He was just worried about you, that's all. You know, sometimes I wonder whose side you're on. Whoa. Whoa. We all just want to help however we can. Yeah. Come on. You have to trust that we're here for you. Oh. We've that's arrived. sad though. Yeah. She's just feeling kind of well. All of her, all of her figures in her life that were supposed to give her advice, like kind of keep things from her. Nobody's yeah. ever fully real with her. One hundred percent. And she keeps having this pressure of being the avatar and having to juggle everything, and like the fate of the yeah. universe literally rests on her shoulders. But then the people who are supposed to be her like advisors, lying to yeah, her. Literally. They're literally just lying to That's her crazy. face on the daily. Mm -hmm. Like I understand why she's yeah. upset. And Unalak seems to be completely transparent with her. So. Yeah, and he's kind of the first person to have done that with her yeah. or first like teacher figure totally or parental figure so it's gonna be interesting to see how that affects their relationship he's frozen in ice just like the sacred forest tonrock destroyed in the north so what do i do you must find your way to the heart of the forest where the dormant spirit portal lies hmm. from here you're on your own there's no way she's going alone yeah if she goes we go too the avatar must go alone oh. okay he's given her zero information though it seems like they hate me you have to believe in yourself like i believe in. okay but what does she do 
Why does she have to go alone? I guess I'm just so used to people telling me how to do things that I yep. forgot what it was like to have someone trust in me. Cora, all the past avatars live on Interesting. Let them guide you. Let them help you find the light in the dark. Okay, so okay. maybe she needs someone to just have that faith in her. Yeah, okay. Maybe, okay. Maybe Unalak's a good guy. All right. All right. Wait here. Maybe I've been judging I'll him wrong. Okay. Good luck. He's a new That character. scene kind yeah. of changed my perception yeah. of him. Or is he framing, is he trying to yeah. get around <laughs> framing it? I don't know. We always got to be A lot of potential, exactly. Skepticism. This is so scary, though. Ah. Spooky spirit boy. They're so creepy. They are creepy. Ooh. Okay, what do they want with her? Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What would they do if they caught her? The show keeps continuing with this narrative that they're not good or bad. They're just like, they're upset right now. Yeah. But Korra's trying to fix it. But we know that they're like intelligent beings because they have been at previous points in the show. Well, no, you so, don't know that they're all intelligent. So there are just some that are just off the wall. That some are that just are like vibing. lesser spirits that are just popping off, I think. <laughs> like those spirits, I don't think could stop and talk to you like other spirits. Really? Like I feel like there's different levels of spirits. Okay, interesting. I wonder what they want from her are they trying to defend the portal yeah i think they're maybe just trying to keep her away yeah or maybe they can sense that her energy is not right and that okay. she's not fully accepting of the spiritual sort of ideas yeah because she keeps fighting them and then getting punched but now what all oh, the air bend now and now she makes them mad right so this just like plays into it mm. can they be stopped by real objects no oh. hmm. whoa this seems like the center yeah Found it. That's beautiful. So is she about to open up the spirit portal? I feel like this is something really significant. She and it's know. happening episode oh, two. What's going on She's with being... Janora? Oh, she, is she doing like the Aang style sleepwalk? Oh, interesting. Or is she just walking? What avatar is this? <gasps> Who is this? That was made out of wood. Any ideas? I mean, okay, so that thing looked torn up. The others are made out of stone. I think it's a really old avatar. Okay. What do you think? I don't know. I didn't get a good enough look. Hmm. I'm not good with faces. So. I just think it's old. It looked more beaten up than other avatar statues. How are you going to get to it? Yeah. Okay, this seems very violent for a place yeah. that we know that doesn't appreciate violence. Yeah, maybe don't just blast it with fire. Right? That's gonna make them angry. See? All right, see, are they forming into like one consciousness? Is that what they're doing right Ugh. now? Ugh. Ah, Wormies. There's gotta be a word for this fear. It's like worms. Oh, see, they're becoming one big one. one yeah, see, I feel like that thing. one can maybe talk to her. But it's just trying to eat her. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is really scary. This, this is, is actually like new terrifying. nightmare oh, material. No, 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 no. no. Uh -huh. Okay. We're just gonna avatar Wait, state they... our way out of this. Ah, what? Wait, but this is bad because if something happens to her now, okay, oh. nope, she can just touch it. She needed to be in the avatar state. Blue finger hold. That's crazy. What did she do? Wow. Wait, she just opened up the spirit world, yeah. I think. What? Oh. Wow. Flash oh, so she did it. Whoa. Whoa. See, look out, it's beaten up. That's amazing. Oh, this is like when Aang first opened, first awakened. Yeah. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. It's beautiful. Oh, I wonder if her dad boy. sees it while going away. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Wow. Wow. Episode two, she opened up the spirit portal. Yeah, all right. Dang. So that was it. Why are you initiating physical contact with another woman? <laughs> April the Queen. Everything you said was true. Avatar wow. Kara, you have taken the first step in bringing balance back to the South. And soon the whole world... You never cease to amaze me. 
Okay, she did it. Nice. Wow. Really sorry for Go Cora. Things were really stressful and confusing. She was very stressed. Mako is kind of understanding of her stress. It's hard being her life. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. That seems bad. That seems bad. Is that the United Forces? Yeah. Looks like their ships. Are we gonna get Iro too? What are all your northern troops doing here? Opening the spirit portal was only the first step in getting the Southern Water Tribe back on its righteous path. Oh no, there. There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly are you united. Oh, they're uniting. He's trying to take over the Southern Water Tribe. You've gotta be kidding me. Hold on. He said unified. Yeah. Oh, brother. No, he's trying to combine the tribes. And he just used Korra. And it, the thing is, he's being open about it, too. Wow. Okay, well, the fact that he's being open about it means he genuinely believes what he's doing is the right thing. Or he was just, he needed to lie about it until okay, he achieved that part of his plan. Then he was Definitely like, yep, possible. You're, you messed up. <laughs> okay. Wow. Before we discuss that further, let's go to the episode verdict. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe below, and check out the Patreon for early access to episodes and ask us these questions we're about to get started on right now. Toketsu Mizu asks, what do you think about the way the air nomads treat Aang's other children, Kaya and Bumi? It kind of makes me sad and it makes me think that there were maybe other instances in their childhood where a similar thing happened mm -hmm. because we know that there's like a superiority dynamic that happens with siblings where it's a bender and a non-bender, mm -hmm. but I can just imagine that it would be even more exaggerated when that bender sibling is like the next generation of airbenders like exactly really the very last i don't know so it just kind of makes me sad yeah I'm, I'm kind of you know i think you kind of nailed it on the head they just have a lot to live up to <laughs> and by their, what i either nailed it or i hit the nail on the head but i didn't nail you nailed it on, it on the, the head. head i think you nailed it yeah no i totally agree i think they just have a lot to live up to and they probably were whether they liked it or not or whether tenzin wanted it or not were viewed as lesser in some circumstances because Tenzin's the only airbending son of the last airbender. Yeah. yeah. So Jerry Farrell asks, how much do you think growing up in a stable home with two loving parents contributed to Korra's personality? I think that, I think it definitely played a role in it. Like it, we haven't really seen the parents of really any avatar before this. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get to see Aang's parents, like Roku, Kyoshi, none of them. While I think it allows them to live a little bit more detached, like they were able to go around the world getting their training. There's definitely a difference to somebody who kind of stays with their parents. I mean, Korra goes and travels and does her bending training, but she doesn't necessarily ever disconnect from her parents in a sense. So I, I think her personality is probably a bit more like a normal person. Like there's less avatar above everything sort of ness in her. Like, I don't know how to even describe it, but like she seems more down to earth for an avatar. She doesn't seem like when she enters a conversation, you're talking to the avatar, you know, yeah. like she seems like a normal person, which is, I think that's the big difference. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think she has much difficulty relating to people and like relating to like the average person's experience because she had like a pretty normal childhood or like growing up for mm. an avatar. She's really like confident and secure in that sense. Mm. These are some fantastic questions by Jessica Parker. Uh, there's a bunch of them. I'm going to list them and then we'll take them bit by bit. Right. Do we trust Unalak? What do you think his intentions are? What are your thoughts on the spirit portal? Should there be such a thing or should the avatar be the sole bridge between spirits and mankind? What do you think is going on with Janora? So the first one, do you trust Unalak? Okay, so so far he's saved their butts every single time. So just from that sense, seems like a good guy. Mm -hmm. um, the type of bending is very cool and something we haven't seen. That's really interesting. I hope we learn more about how he learned how to do that, if that was something he's born with, if that was specifically something, if that's like specifically a Northern Water Tribe thing. Yeah, I'm not sure about his intentions yet. I think his intentions are to probably just try to combine and then rule over both the Northern and Southern Water Tribe. Yeah. Um, and maybe, I mean, Dark Horse Theory, maybe he like is like trying to take over the spirit world interesting like, i think maybe he like figured out how to connect in the north and now he has south and maybe the two sides of the world are like what control the whole spirit world in a sense huh. i don't know i don't think opening that portal is a good idea like i think yeah. that like well i don't know but we there's a lot of possibilities i think that we're gonna have to see whether it's good or bad because it seems like there's been a lot of bad stuff done to spirits when they the portal has been closed so if mm -hmm. it leads to them being treated less badly maybe it could be a good thing we'll, we'll kind of have to yeah. see on that one 
the last thing is, what do we think is going on with Janora? I think that almost like Aang going to the lion turtle, being mm -hmm. like pulled off. Yeah. I think that she's on a similar journey where somebody from the, like a spirit is reaching out to her. Yeah, no, I think it's definitely a connection she's experiencing as she progresses on her journey as an airbender. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's definitely like a pull from the spirit world. Yeah, that statue was interesting. I think, yeah, because what are, it, your, what are your think thoughts on the statue? Well, it, I it wasn't Aang, right? Like, I, I didn't immediately think it was Aang. I could be wrong. Um, mm -hmm. But if it's not Aang, who is it? Yeah. And what spirit or bender or person who has a statue would be calling to Janora? Yeah. I've had one spoiler for Korra, and I think that potentially that involves this, so I will recuse myself from talk about, about those statues. Okay. Thank you for joining us for this episode. If you like that, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment. Check out the Patreon linked in the description below for early access or to ask us these questions that we answer at the end of episodes. Um... All right. Uh, <laughs> Why are we clapping? Uh, next episode seems kind of ominous, but I'm super excited for next episode to see what happens. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm excited too. I'm oh. looking forward to it. All right. Let's get it. Let's go.